<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Just Roll It Already. I'm your host, Daryl. I'm your other host, Jeremiah. Kyle's back again. And I'm the Rules Lawyer John. Okay. <laughs> this time we're doing Tales from the Couch, our horrible stories from the past brought to the light, and for you to listen and enjoy because everyone loves a little blood in the water. And by little, I mean like complete chum book, buckets full as you sharks are eating it up. Also, blood looks greater in water, doesn't it? Like, it just yeah. plumes out and looks like there's more. Our okay. stories more like have macerated body parts and, like, fingers and hands of little Okay, children. I think the yeah. chum was made out of that dude I put in the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so, <laughs> so right now, let's get this, let's get this uh, feeding frenzy on a go, you little monsters. We are doing the characters we witnessed that we hate, and then we're going to talk about the characters that we've played that we hate, and I'm going to go first. This is a huge shall not be gamed character. I ran a BS Pathfinder game that was just all over the place, okay? I know, Kyle, you were with it, with me. Jeremiah, you weren't, and neither were you, John, because I think you were out of town. And um, it started as kind of like, let's, let's do the raid in the temple and get everything we wanted and stuff. Everyone played what they wanted. And uh, he was an elven ranger, Oh my gosh. And then he and everyone else was supposed to go to this temple. Well, he said that he was defending the temple, preventing from anyone entering it. Then he was supposed to be, let me put it this way. He was true neutral. He was playing chaotic evil. He got really weird. He started getting difficult with everyone. He started cheating his roles. He started doing this, that, and the other. And he just was unmovable. And he was just being a dick to everybody because he was taking a personal gripe out of everyone. I don't know what the beef with him is because he's pretty much... Uh, I guess he has, like, bipolar or something about his characters. And he just attacked everyone. I mean, one by one, he started murdering everyone. And then he turned on me with my NPC bounty hunter and tried to start killing the party. And then he kicked his butt. The bounty hunter kicked his butt and he tried to run away. Well, that's kind of funny when you sit there and you make a poison because you're the game master. Anything goes. And no matter what you roll sometimes, you can sit there and say, I hate you, so you die. No, but I, but he know. didn't die. I just made him maimed and paralyzed. I left him there for dead. Well, he killed a lot of people and he... He killed Kylie's character. He chased me down. Wait, how many, how many crits did he do, though, actually? I was going to say, didn't he do, like, I do 10 crit. Like, he critted, like, 10 times. Yeah. Statistically, he rolled, like, tw he rolled 20 times Yeah, he critted all over row. the place. Really? He just really? bent over Kyle and just critted all over his face. Oh, yeah, no, I spent weeks cleaning that out of places I didn't even know I had. Yeah, okay, and then he killed uh, our friend Sean's character in a brutal manner. <clears throat> Uh, the only character that got away was my wife because she she's a long range fighter and she kept on like aiming for his kneecaps. Yeah, no, he he neutral, true neutral, chased a fleeing, screaming, just innocent person away, hunted them down and killed them because they had an, a weapon that they wanted to get rid of but was bound to them. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that was the uh, the first iteration of the infamous Twick the Bard. Yes, which leads on to one of my stories, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, and that is pretty much what the character I hated I have ever witnessed in a long time. I, I wanted to murder him, and in the end of that, I told him to leave and never come back because he was being a douche. Now, it is up to the Jeremiah, the one with the Liberace microphone cover. Yes, my pop filter. It's like I'm talking to a Liberace priest. So, my confession both of pinkness. So His pop I, filter's pink. Yes. Now, my story also has to do with he who shall not be gamed because he and the thing is this character he's played it's like a, every character now let me ask you the description of this elf they have like long black hair and like oh God. aquiline features and he describes every character exactly the same and every single personality of every character is the same i hate when people play the same and you know what you do dramatic backstories but at least every character you do is different Th yeah thankfully for that this character is the same every time he goes for a pompous nobility with long black hair and everyone bows to him yes he always has to do some sort of domineering i'm in control character but he has long black hair awkward thing features much to the mediterranean sense of like turkish descent of something where in that nature really broadly specific as you can tell yeah uh it's the same like he will power trip over people uh it's his like uh, and you know and where he does this is world of darkness exactly this is the character he does all the time in world of darkness he goes for uh ventru and he just try any world of darkness you know a player is a complete if they start to dominate other like, I'm, I'm not saying dominate in the sense of like no I'm, I'm talking about in World of Darkness there's a tree of abilities called dominate which will mentally enslave people and this person likes to just try to enslave the entire party that's his that is what he that's what gets him off like, that's his thing like he's like yeah. I'm going to 
mentally control all of them and force them to do what I want for my own pleasure. If um, you say no and try to fight against him, he says, bow down, or get on the ground and kneel. And then if you keep saying no after you're forced to, he'll walk up and cut your head off. And he's well, done that. Well, he does it all the time. And he, he likes to do that. Uh, think of this as an S&M thing, but you're not a masochist. <laughs> no, like he, and he also lets, and he gets really angry when you fu- tell him like rules like for instance like well you can't use dominant in combat he's like well then what's the point of my character then like i'm completely useless well exactly then true are meant for social situations you're in combat dominant can't be used in combat and so there's issues like that brought up so it's like a lot of times you know he's misinterpreted abilities and it's made him just frustrated where he would like flip a table <laughs> and he's like well screw this he starts throwing dice jeez but that is his character just carbon copy every time Lon Bl- immediately if you ever if any of you ever be in a game with him watch him pl- watch when he describes his character it'll be funny you'll start laughing you're like oh long black hair Octa Queen features you're in- oh, we heard this before uh. we heard this before it's a, it's you shall not be game hey. get out of our group right now hey have you ever heard of a podcast called uh just roll it already they warned us about <laughs> you yeah all right anyways kyle you're up next um give us a dramatic backstory well, a long time ago, there was someone who was had like one of those blandest backgrounds ever. His name was Sam. Just three bland not letters. But yes, no. Um, wow, it's already every... getting dramatic. Holy crap, I'm going to get some popcorn. <laughs> yes, no, but every character he ever played was much the same as Jeremiah, except it wasn't like a powerhouse or anything like that. Every single game, he would play a reiteration of the Elven Archer. With standard, like, stereotype elvish features. Legolas. He, yeah, no, not even Legolas. Not like a standard... Well, actually, yeah, kind of like Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> a stereotype elf. Yeah, no, and he would actually do that. He would be like, oh, no, I'm an archer. Oh, I'm a dual-wield fighter. I wield two swords. I'm a drow with scimitars. He, he would actually do that, like, all the time, it's every unoriginal. game. Very unoriginal. My character's yes. name is Drizzt. Like, uh... And I would be cool with that if his character asked, actually had personality. But the reason I hate it so much is because he never put anything into them. He would just literally, he would sit there half the session and he would say, okay, for the next like 30 minutes, I'm just going to follow him everywhere. And it's like, okay, but, like big things come up and he just like look up from his computer and it's like, oh, what's going on again, guys? Stuff like that. And his character had no flavor at all in this background. He, I mean, like granted, yes, it's cool if you come into a game. No, no background. You go with it from there. But... When you're just a cardboard cutout every game, no. So he, I hated his, I hated his characters the most. Oh jeez, I, I, we've mentioned this gentleman before, but I don't know which of his characters I hate more. Ah, uh, big Rudy. Oh jeez, you and your terrible characters. I'd have to say his hypersexualized Kasune was the worst character I could have ever seen, especially considering I was from the standpoint of. Uh, uh, being a uh, <clears throat> GM at the time, so I had to deal with him constantly. Like, and I'm naked. No, you're not naked. You when you transform out of your Kasune form, you're in hu- your normal clothes. It's like, do you want to not have AC? So, anyway, he just Rudy in general. He has to deal with. He makes these characters that seem so more uh, tied to his personal feelings towards the character than they are actually a character unto themselves. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's, that's creates kind of fantasy. scary. That's mm. why this is the... He brings reason. in a whole new meaning to fantasy roleplay. Role yeah, I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> but it, you'll see it a lot, um, especially if you play with him. He he has to have some sort of emotional attachment to his character and not his character having an attachment to the rest of the party. And that is just... His Kasune was a nightmare. Uh, not because of this poorly built character, but just from the begging and pleading and from the I just didn't want it in my campaign, he he would have none of that. He would have He would have none of me saying no. So it's like I'm naked. No, I'm not. You're not naked. It's like we can't say I'm not naked. I'm like, well, I'm fine, the GM. You're, naked, you're naked elsewhere. No one has to look at you. <laughs> I'm the GM. Everyone else averts their eyes there's for no le- reason. There's, natural yeah. response. There's leaves. There's there leaves. leaves. Yeah. There are leaves. Kind of like he'd he'd play he'd play a fe- like female characters all the time, but they'd never be female. No, they, they would be a man with a vagina. Yes. yes. There'd be like a man's like, I'm a woman now? I'm going to play with my boobies. <laughs> no. Like, yeah. you, you ever read the first chapter of Goblins? Is anybody out there who has? Yes. There's a, there's a drow named Drow Babe, and it's just like, one of the characters even comments, wow, you don't act like a, you don't act like a female at all. You act like a, like... A 14-year-old uh, boy who's pretending to be a woman and thinks that this is how women, all women act. Yeah. And, and then he, then the drow babe re- proceeds to respond with, oh no, my, my shirt is slipping. And well, like... 
squeezes the blah blah blah, blah but yes uh, it's pg-13 yeah in, here in insert oh now it's pg-13 <clears throat> no it's like <laughs> just, <laughs> but, but just in general the hypersexualization of games and like it's like I, I, I just want to run my campaign okay you're in a time traveling rv essentially and you want to just no in a time traveling motor no furries <laughs> sorry no, 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 no sex in this game <laughs> that is obviously you're trying to exert a certain yeah don't aspect. exert don't try and exert he was like trying to exert his will over the dm and that was i was not having that. yeah okay a type of will that no one wants to play with okay now that we got that part out the first roundabout of our horror stories that we witnessed we're going to talk about a characters that we n- wish we never played mine's mm. a little bit more serious about the fact that i was playing in a old world of darkness game and this is like probably about a half a year into role playing myself and I was in a very kind of depressed state of my life and I busted out this character named Cervante Pendragon he was a noble he was staunch and he was cruel and I'm sitting there going out and I'm I'm not talking about like everything think about like Vlad the Impaler's cousin except he's more demented and he's the one who corrupted Vlad because he started killing people for no apparent reason other than the fact that he was cruel and it was outright creeping me out I was sitting there saying like I just made a mother cook her baby and feed it to her children without telling them what it was baby back ribs yeah that's, that's metal that's metal yeah mm. but i mean it was he was just outright evil i i don't play evil evil characters like that i'm sitting there thinking like my goodness i am a monster today and i'm sitting there going on At driving you didn't have a red and white bucket full of deep fried babies and you just like pick it up with a leg and it looks like you know it's like a stiff yeah. corpse of a baby and you're <coughs> it. but because that's really there, evil there was there was a point i i got done with the game one night i played him and he was just outright brutal i i can't even remember how awful it used to be okay, okay and back to the the whole thing about cervante well i i got back from a game and um he, I, I did this whole atrocious act and everything, and I, I caused a lot of people to be miserable and all this crazy crap, and I just brought hell and wrath, wrath on the whole society. I was white in the face, and I felt I was disgusted with this person. I looked at myself in the mirror, and I thought, I am some twisted monster because I just came up with this crap, and I don't know what to do. I hate this guy. So what did I do in the next, in the next uh, session? I walked out, and, and it was... He was should not be games kind of games ran and he loved this character because he liked the brutality and the monstrosity this guy brought out and i went up straight to the person that was like a big honcho i reeled my leg back in which was a great sword and i cleaved them right in half between their legs and just made a banana peel effect of a, a person and i sat there and i say and now i'm in charge where their entire entourage descended upon me and murdered me as i sat there and i laughed maniacally saying i i am now immortalized and yes, he's immortalized, and forever, I will never, ever, ever touch this character ever again. It would have been even worse if, like, they started bowing to you because you keep what you kill. Sort yeah. Of thing. <laughs> that would be well, more metal. It's uh, like you keep what you kill, you just sit on the throne, and everyone just bows to you. No, no, he keeps the corpse. Like, he just lays out, like, take him. What? Yeah, well, he, he, he kills, just drags off the, the leader, body. So now he owns the leadership as well. No, yeah, but he drags off the body. No, this is like, a vampire, the vampire dark ages. I went to, like, the court prince, and I cleaved him in half, and I said, okay, now I'm in charge, and then they killed me. Because uh, yeah, that's not it how it works. It doesn't work that way, yeah. No, it doesn't work that way, and I was There's a monster. Yeah. yeah. And the funny part it was is I wasn't a uh, I wasn't a Zemitsi. I was a Ventru. Yeah. That's probably why he <laughs> liked your character. It was a Ventru. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was pretty much my horror story. So, <laughs> I guess we should do me now. Yep. Yeah. Yes, do me. The so one you hate that you played. Okay, this character it was in Tyler's game. It was yes. a one shot, and I made this character because even though it was a one shot, I take it upon myself for like when the party is all right. We have a bunch of DPS. We have no healer. I will make it so I make a healer, so people have a healer. Yeah. So I made a druid, because like, they have heals, and I've never played a really went into a druid that big, so I made a druid. I made a kobold, because I like small, I like playing small creatures, and I, I just find it fun to play like gnomes and stuff. I like, I, I like Vern Troyer, so <laughs> I, I like, I like uh, Wart Davis, he's amazing. But uh, I played a kobold, and he started out great. He was, I believe, neutral good. I just wanted him to be a guy that heals and does great. And for some reason, I developed this personality for him. Like, for one, I wanted to be like Deckard Cain. I put, uh, I actually used... Stay a while and yeah. listen. Oh, heroes, come and stay a while and listen. I put in perform, uh, tell stories. Like, I really went with it. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I did uh, Deckard Cain as a kobold. But what it started, like, my, I, my character just had, like, Alzheimer's and dementia. He slowly... <laughs> 
like went into crazy town. I he, wouldn't even say it's Alzheimer's dementia. I'd say it was more like you took a board to the back of the head and you had a concussion and you didn't know who you were anymore. No, like I, I just I just started doing the most inane, horrible crap. Like my guy just like and then I eat the baby. What? Well, I'm like, why would I do that? I don't know. I just like now I'm like Bane with Decker Kane and the Joker and just like Oh yes. Come and stay a while and listen while I eat your young. <laughs> And I'm also like a white dragon of uh, Bahamut. Yeah. Yeah. So Bahamut. I'm like, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, for some reason, I developed this personality that like dragons, yes, they're superior to you. <laughs> white dragon power. White dragon power. And so like now he's just racist towards everybody. I'm like, why? Why the? F- why did I do that? Why? <laughs> why? Why did I make him racist? Why did I? I just it went down and like now I'm like, well I've gone with it. I have to go now. Like just go for the blow. Just just so like. I'd well, say I'd also say one of the big parts about the character is he also a little pedo. Yeah, yeah he was like ah oh, little girl. <laughs> I just it was a one shot. So it's like I gotta go for comedic effect here. Like well there's an orc girl trapped in a mirror. So let, let's get let's make this as creepy and awkward as possible. And yeah, that was a uh, thrust vulgarly. Yeah yeah I also I think at the very end of it what I, I i relieved myself onto a dragon uh, a crystal dragon's face uh and uh he ate me or he just tore me to pieces <laughs> that was the ballad i guess of <laughs> belfador ivory wing the racist kobold <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible that is truly terrible yeah yeah so uh john do you want to go or would you like me to go first uh you go ahead Okay, um, the worst character I have ever played, I would say, hmm, a character named Twick. Yes, he, everyone hates Twick. Yes, everybody hated Twick. Twick and Twitch. He, he was dual personality, and both of them were horrible. <laughs> Basically, um, Twick or Twitch, one of them was complete coward, the other one was, um... A psychopath? Basically a psychopath. He liked killing people he and he was basically enslaved to one character in the party but i created no backstory for this person i just went off the wing of my pants and just like this is the person's personality let's go with it you have to emphasize that don't you i <laughs> yes, didn't know dramatic yes, backstory i am dramatic backstory but I then need you ended to up making this. a dramatic backstory so that's your fault what no i didn't yeah you when he's like oh i'm a psychopathic murderer now ah my backstory <laughs> for future games is that i had a character who was a psychopathic murderer but yes, no, he, he was a bard, and he was a coward, though for some reason I turned around and I started doing, like, insane stuff. Like, at one point, he crashed an airship through a camp of bandits, because we had to kill them for a mercenary-type thing. And I don't think any sane coward would ever put himself onto a ship and, like, just pilot it into, a, into the ground. Oh, no, no, they'd, they'd flee. Yes, no, so this character was unconstituted on what he, what he would do. And on top of that, it's just, he was an, I'm the PG-13. But yes, you get the point. He became Belfador Ivory Wing. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, and on top of that, he had one of the most annoying voices that, like, screwed up my my own personal voice because i would always be talking in it whenever i played it yeah that's your fault man yeah that is totally my fault but i think (laughs) characters should have their own voices but that's another session all right my terrible terrible character that i that i played uh just because he was not nearly irish as he should have been (laughs) that would be uh, uh flint mcguffin i can't remember his last name was he an ira oh no it was flint malloy he is a former Flint McGuffin. I can't remember his last name. I think it was, oh Malloy. Yeah, Flint Malloy was not nearly as Irish he should have been. He was a silent strider, and he was also Irish IRA from the uh, from World of Darkness. I tried to make him from Ireland, so I had to give him a plausible backstory to fit within the 1980s uh, <clears throat> America San Francisco time period. So. I, I really didn't do anything that was Irish, and I should have made him uh, a Fiora. A uh, Fiona, I believe. A Fiona, because that would have made more sense. They are the Irish. But just plan. the way he handled, like, I, I tried to make him not really a powerhouse, more of a detective, but then it needed to be more of a, he was, since the IRA, he's more of a, a rebel for hire, so it's a really conflicting story, and his really, the personality didn't flesh out really well. That's really just a bad game session when you you can't flesh out your own character. That's a really bad character if you can't even progress to flesh it out even more. You're lost. You're yeah. lost. You're yeah. lost as a character, and that is the worst experience you can have. Yeah. So, um, and is that anything else for your character? Or? No, that's that's just it. Like, as a character that I really didn't like to play is Flint Malloy. So I, I'm sure we should uh, 
probably be wrapping this up. So let's wrap it up, I guess. Um, now, our friend, the magnificent Overlord Daryl, has stepped out for a bit. So uh, this has just uh, been this has been just rolled already. And uh, email us at uh, gmail.com at uh, just roll already. Just roll it already. Just roll it already at gmail.com uh-huh. and like, subscribe, and comment below. Hello. Yep. I have been your secondary and temporary main host, Jeremiah. Um. Uh, incredibly dramatic tr- backstory right here. What's your, what's your name, Kylie? Yeah. Okay. Kylie. Oh, and just to mention, for all those who have been hearing Kylie thrown out there, that is my actual name, and I've been introducing myself as Kyle at the beginning of each of these sessions. So, just that for you. I'll probably switch that up so I don't it's confuse people. It's new anyway. for it. <laughs> but anyway, that's been just wrote already. I'm John, and uh, take it easy. Yep.